People hear this term all the time, but I'm not sure if people fully, clearly understand what it is. Please explain what is postpartum. Okay, so postpartum is immediately after baby's born. And it generally refers to the mother. Postnatal refers to the baby. So postpartum is sometimes called the fourth trimester. And you know, each trimester of pregnancy, the first trimester, the second and third, they last three months and make up the nine months. And then you have the fourth trimester, which could ideally be another three months. And that's a time period immediately after birth um, when mom is healing. And it's really, really important for her to heal. And that's another um, issue. We're getting, we're working with it though. You know, where usually moms, you got a month off from your job, but you really need a good month and a half or more. You know, so it's a healing process. Um, just time to be home, um, time for her body to come back together after baby's born, um, time to be nurtured, very important. So those are some of the things that we overlook, especially the nurturing part that moms need. Yeah, that's very important. Other, other places in other parts of the world, that's what moms get for the next 40 days after baby's born. And that's what we ideally should be able to do. Can you speak on the nurture of the mother more? Because I, I've, in my experience, I noticed all the attention is put on the child in regards to nurture and care but no attention is put towards the mother in regards to her nurture and care. Yeah. So could you just elaborate more on what nurture would look like for a mother who just had birth? What it, would, it would look like she gets the first two weeks or more, maybe three weeks, she gets to stay in her bed or stay at least in her bedroom. She's not up and down the steps. She's not in and out the door. It, it's, it, it, it does not look like I just brought the baby home and I gotta run to the store. Doesn't look like that. You know, the village, meaning her, her parents, maybe her husband's parents, maybe her sister, maybe her neighbor. You know what I'm saying? Meals, she should have, you wanna plan postpartum too, just like you plan the birth. So you wanna plan postpartum, who's bringing your meals, who's taking care of a little bit of laundry, who's washing the dishes. Your job is to bond with the baby, get familiar with the baby, let your body heal. Your village or your tribe's job is to nurture you, take care of you, give, give you a chance to take a shower and hold the baby for you. You know, take a nap if you want to. It, it was hard work having a baby. It was hard work carrying a baby. After baby is here, you, you want mom to heal. And sometimes that, that might not happen. And moms do feel unsupported. And that can cause depression. You know, to, I've seen moms that were deserted immediately after birth. You know, or just still has to come home to another handful of children to one, two, or three, and has to figure out how to juggle this newborn with these other children, and dinner needs to be cooked, and perhaps the husband is looking at her like, you know, that's what women do. You know, so we forget how sacred birth is, and to have a woman become the portal between one world and the next, and for us to go about our business like that wasn't no big thing is, is not it, you know. And so we don't always plug into the sacred aspect of birth. We plug into um, the material aspect of it, the physical aspect of it, the, um, the medical aspect of it. Yeah, and we don't, we, don't, we don't plug into that because that's not the way we think, you know. But we got to learn to think that way. It's, it's time to switch that around. We need to come back to our sacred reality of who we are as human beings. 
you know, not citizens of America or anything else. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Well, let me hear you say, my